All right, just making a quick video. Uh, something I just came across real quick on Amazon. This is the new 767, Anchor 767. And this is the, uh, this is the big brother to the, the 757. And so this thing is, is actually available and on sale now. Um, 2,000 watt hour LFP life pole battery, of course. Uh, 2,400 watt hour or 2,400 watt inverter. And uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is kind of their first entry into this kind of uh, bigger size class. And, uh, you know, it's a good looking unit, obviously based on the design a lot of the 757. Although I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't bring that X that uh, the 757 has and a little bit more detail on the handle. But, um, but yeah, still overall a pretty, pretty good looking unit. And you know what's actually kind of funny is this screen... Uh, there's another unit called Darren Enter, I think, that came out about a month ago. And <laughs> when I first saw that unit, I thought, you know, that thing looks like an anchor. And um, so evidently, these things, they're either sharing parts or they're co-developed or something, right? So, um, but that one doesn't have the handle and the wheels. And at this weight... Um, this thing, this thing probably weighs right around 60 pounds because they don't have it listed on this, uh, this, uh, Amazon listing yet, but, um, that Darren Enter version is about 57 pounds without the wheels and handles. So yeah, about 60 pounds, but if you didn't want the wheels and handle, I guess technically there's, there's a way to get it without it if you look at that other brand, but at this weight, I don't know why you wouldn't, right? So, um. But yeah, let's just look at it a little bit more here. And uh, yeah, one thing that also stood out to me is this kind of dual uh, cigarette uh, outlets on it, which is, you know, something I've always wanted to see on these units, especially these bigger units. It's like you got enough real estate there, like just, you know, put two of them on there. Why not? Right. Because um, those things are always handy for for things. And even if you're using one for like a, a DC appliance, you know, you can still put something else in there. Right. So, um, yeah, nice to see that. And then, of course, something you, you definitely expect to see on these bigger units, a 30-amp outlet for RV or a transfer switch at your house, right? So, um, and then you got, yeah, the USB. And this, this really nice ambient light that uh, Anchors put on all their units, which is really nice to have, too. Um, you, know, you know, if you follow the channel, I'm a big fan of having these lights on these power stations. So, um, but yeah, good looking unit. Let's just move on here. So they're talking about um, long lasting, you know, 10 years, everyday use. And, uh, you know, I re actually really like to see, see Anchor doing this, talking about like industrial grade components and stuff like that, because a lot of these companies that are using LFP batteries now talk about 10 year lifetime and stuff like that. But like, that's just a battery, right? Like, like, you know, what good is it if the unit itself is not going to last 10 years? So, um. So, yeah, so you might say, well, that's just marketing hype or whatever. But to me, I like to see that because it at least shows that they're thinking about it, right? So, um, and then let's move on. It, it is expandable. Looks like maybe only uh, one battery. So expandable to about two or 4,000 watt hours. Um, but, yeah, better than nothing, right? And then uh, let's see what else we got here. The handle and stuff. And actually, I, f I kind of found this funny. Like, <laughs> look at this right here, right? Like, what are they talking about there? They're probably talking about the Delta Pro, right? <laughs> Having to bend all the way over to reach for that handle. So they got it on top here. So I like to see that. And, um, you know, obviously just having any kind of way to, to move this thing around without having to lift it, though, in this uh, size and weight class. It's a good thing. The 30 amp uh, outlet, we already talked about that. In the solar, solar, it looks like there's, it's going to be around 1,000 watt max on this. They don't actually have it listed in the actual description. But the thing is, you know, that sounds great, but it's not all good news, right? So let's just, let's just get out of here real quick. I'm going to show you why. So if you move down here, they talk about, where is it at? Right about here five 200 watt panels right so again they're they're kind of uh alluding to about a thousand watt solar on this thing but um if you actually go down here 
This is just so disappointing. Look at this. 60 volt max on that. So um how are you gonna how are you gonna hook up five two hundred watt panels in sixty volts, right? <laughs> I mean <laughs> That's just crazy. That's just, uh, it's, it's unfortunate too because, you know, the 757 is such a good unit. And the one thing that people complain about is the solar, right? Because I think the solar on that one is only 300 watts and only 30 volts. So you think they would have le le learned their lesson, right? Uh, with this big unit, you know, especially Blue Eddy EcoFlow, like the Blue Eddy AC200s, EcoFlow, uh, Delta Pros. I think those are around 150 volt um, max, right? So, um, yeah, 60 volts. It just, I don't know. That's very disappointing. Um, but it's not the end of the world, right? Because you can still use, like, residential panels, large commercial panels and stuff like that, usually around 40, 50 volts. So, um, yeah, not the end of the world. But I still just wonder, how are you going to hook up five 200-watt panels? Well, yeah, let's just keep moving here. So this is, they're talking about the inverter, obviously a 2,400-watt uh, inverter. You can pretty much power anything, right, that you can plug into a wall that's 120 volt. Um, obviously not 240-volt stuff, but, um, yeah, pretty much anything is what they're saying. And then you got the app, right? You got the app. You got um, power saving mode, UPS less than 20 milliseconds, so that's kind of what you want. That should be good enough for any kind of computer or anything. Um, hyper flash AC charging, okay, so 1.4 hours, so probably somewhere around 1500 watt uh, going in from the wall for charging from the wall. And then uh, lastly, GAN Prime. I'm not exactly sure what this stands for, but it's something to do with efficiency, right? So, uh, again, something I like to see because a lot of these bigger units, they're, they're not always all that efficient, right? I don't know if the manufacturers just figure because the battery's so big, you know, don't have to worry about it. But to me, I think efficiency is always important. And uh, so whatever this GAN Prime is, uh, hopefully, hopefully that does deliver on that. You know, once we see people get their hands on this unit, get some testing out here. Uh, but um, for now, it looks like at least they're claiming that quieter fans, right? So, um, yeah, that's about it. This thing's available now on Amazon. Uh, good looking unit. And uh, yeah, hopefully, someone finds this interesting or helpful. And uh, thanks for watching.